Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have another what's in my stash video to share with you guys. And this time we are doing um, like pink themed papers and girly themed papers and some Paris. And I don't know what these hand motions are, um, but we're doing pink girly and Paris. So I have two bins to share with you guys. And I'm pretty sure I organized these correctly, but I don't know. I haven't been in these bins in a long time, so I guess we will see what's inside of here. Um, so let's get started. Okay, you guys, I hope you guys are realizing from this what's in my stash video series that I have way too much paper and I really do not need to be buying anything. <laughs> Um, I hope you guys have just as much. I hope I'm not the only one. I know Tiffany has way more than I do. But anyway, so this is a die cuts with a view collection called the Meet Me in Paris. Um, and this is what it looks like. So we'll just do like a flip through. So I see some like vintagey kind of elements, some florals. Oh, this one's cute. This is a cute paper collection. Where did I get this? I have no idea. But this is cute. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I clearly have never used this, but that's a cute paper collection. Um, I have, okay, this one says practically perfect. Um, and it just kind of reminded me of Paris with the little macarons. And I don't know, it seemed Parisy themed-ish little cupcakes and things so this is uh called per practically perfect from cartabella and i have the collection kit as well so it's definitely like some vintagey kind of elements in here also i see some music papers um so yeah where is this from this is 2020 that's a fairly newer company wait so this one says practically perfect cartabella this one says practically perfect echo park i know they're sister companies but um I don't know why one says Cartabelle and one says Echo Park but anyway I got that in my stash we have the I Am um by Simple Stories these are just the bits and pieces some ephemera I had the six by eight I think I used it um no I know no wait no look at that I have not one but two so I don't know, did I use this already? I feel like maybe I used one, but here's what the I Am collection looks like. Oh, you know what, maybe I didn't. I think I just had some journal cards that maybe I used. But I have two six by eight pads with the journal bits that I gotta use up for that. Um, we got some foam stickers and they were just um, motivational foam stickers, so I included them in here. So I like that. Um, we got the Fashionista 6x6 paper pad by Echo Park. That's super cute also. Okay, I have the Simple Stories I Am oh, Bits and Pieces. The other ones we had the journal bits. This is the bits and pieces. Um, I have some of the, like these random stickers and they're just girly. So they're in this bin. I have this collection called On Vogue by Cartabella. And this is like Paris themed also. So it's got little, I see like the Eiffel Tower. So yeah, I have lots to use up. This is Parisian, Parisian Lane. Um, from like elections, it's a hot buy. I have used some paper from this, not a lot, but I have used some. I see some macaron papers, some florals that were used. Um, so yeah, I did use some of that. And then I have this one called C'est la vie from Park Lane. Oh, this one's not even open yet. And there's some solids in there. But it had a French name, so it's in my French-themed paper bin. But anyway, that's um, the first bin. That was more like Paris-y themed and fashionista, fashion 
e themed. Um, but yeah, that was the first one. So now let's get into bin number two. All right, I'm gonna close this one up and let me get the other one. So bin number two, this one just says pinks. So I'm guessing there's a lot of pink themed paper collections in here. Starting off with this one from Die Cuts with a View called Posh and Pink. I think I used some papers from here, which I, I did. I see some scrappies, see? So I've used some. Oh, I, I remember making um, a traveler's notebook with this. Somebody wanted a pink themed one. So I did use some of this. I like the holographic in here as well. Gold would go really nice with this collection also. But that's Posh and Pink from Die Cuts with a View. I have this one called The Blush um, from Die Cuts with a View. And half the sheets in here are with gold foil. So yeah, this one's all pink also. Oh, I used some of that as well. So that one is blush. Then I have this one called the Rose Quartz and 12 of the sheets in here um, have rose gold foil. This is like a peachy rose gold color scheme. But I thought it goes with the pinkish family. Okay, so there's that. I don't really know what to use these guys for. Um, I have these specialty pinks. This is like a specialty paper pad. Um, so there's some solid papers in here, some patterns, some glitter paper, like this marbly paper, foil paper, acetate. Look at that fun acetate there. Um, some more glitter and just more pink themed papers. So I have that one. And then I have this one called Be Happy. Um, and this one is from, what's, oh, Paper House. That's the brand on this one. So this is also in like peachy colors with black. So I don't know, just some, I don't really know what to make like with these things. I mean, I could, you could probably even make a wedding album out of this one, but I just like when there's things in the collection that I could use that are specific for it to say wedding. Oh, there's a sticker sheet in here. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even realize there was a sticker sheet in there. Um, but yeah, so that is all for my pink themed and girly pinks and Paris themed um, collections that I have in my stash. So I will link whatever I can in the description box down below, but these all seem fairly old to me. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to find anything, but I, I'll at least list out the collection. So if you guys find them on eBay or something or Etsy or wherever, um, if there's something you really want, maybe you'll be able to find it. Um, anyway, you guys, that's it for this video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next crafty video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.